Medicaid is not working in this state because somebody mishandled the money. There is money, and money came flowing from Pfizer into this state, and somebody misappropriated because they thought, hey, the heyday was going to go on forever. The plan A, B, C, D didn't work for America. We're defunct right now. So what I'm saying is this. In Texas, they're they have this article in Medicare where all the hospitals are defunct by the immigrants bleeding the system. I can't go to Mexico and speak English and get into their emergency room, okay? So I'm saying this, we need to just cut off the flow. It's over, the game's over, the heyday's over. We need to cut the flow.
in the original, but if I wanted your birth certificate, I couldn't get an original copy of it. I have my original. I can bring it and show it to sure, you. Sure, sure. But I don't think Brian Bobbins is going to show me his original. But I have seen a copy of it. I've also seen two newspapers in Hawaii. Because I looked at it. I looked at this the same way all of you did. And there are two newspapers on that day in Hawaii that have birth announcements. So I, I, I go pursue this myself. Okay. Because I'm satisfied by seeing a copy of it and also seeing two two newspaper articles on the day he was born that had his name in it. But I think that's satisfying. Out of respect, I'm sorry. Sure. No, what no, you no, have no, seen, what you have seen, is a certificate of live birth. It does not show a doctor's name. It does not show much information about the parents. It shows the date he was born, the time he was born, and who his parents are. There is an actual birth certificate that shows the doctor's name, and that is what is in question here. He refuses to show that. Did you know that they held a special hearing for President, excuse me, for candidate McCain? where he had to show his his birth certificate because there was a question of his eligibility because of Panama, I guess, is where he was sure, born. Sure. Why did they not have to do that with Obama? Well, and I don't know really the answer to that question, but I will say that I am far more concerned. My priority in Washington, D.C. is to stop bad legislation. That is my priority. And I am far less concerned. We can disagree. In, in whether or not the birth certificate I saw was original or, 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 or um, accurate or not. But I'm far more concerned. I am spending my time reading thousand page documents, hoping that they're going to be the same thousand page document two weeks from now, and making sure that we change and make sure we stop bad legislation. Do you understand that if Obama is not president, none of this matters? Do you understand that? None of this matters. I just want to know why nobody in the Congress is pursuing this. I'm telling you why I'm not. You can't get a passport. What does the crowd say? Yeah, what does the crowd say? What do they think? Where is it? Where is it? someone in Congress demand to see the passport that he used when he traveled to Pakistan at age 20. Yep. That, I think, would clarify a lot of things. We can get beyond the and then go from there. I also disagree with you respectfully uh, regarding your idea of forgiveness for doctors. Uh, that's Hillary Clinton uh, circa 1980 somewhere. She made that in a public broadcast with Dean Adele out of San Francisco one day and said that, well, we'll use that to get people doing what you're suggesting. So I think maybe you want to fit that. You don't want to be on that side of the aisle. And, and I've been on this aisle for 50 years. So I've been in this choir for a long time. But I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting, used to getting ready to stop soon because I think the, de the Democrats and the Republicans are too close, there's too much collegiality. And it's time for the people on the right side to say, look, we just, as the lady mentioned, say no. So your ideas, your, your ideas of consolidating or compromising or whatever, I don't think are valid. I think at this point, the people on the other side, including our good friend from Las Vegas, Mr. Reed, want to do things that are in the antithesis of the American West. So, but I do believe that all you people, when you get across that Potomac River, suddenly become something else besides concerned with us. And as you know, I've asked you before, in these hard times, to bite the bullet. And that bullet is, I'm insisting that all of you people in Congress, all 535 of you, plus the representatives from the outside, take a 15% cut in salary, a 15% cut in perks, a 15% cut in staff, and a 15% cut in their salary until this economic morass improves. So I appreciate that.